What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new video where today is going to be the first of a, I would say series, uh, but it's just basically me uh, announcing and addressing some things that you guys have asked, some announcements that I've got, some updates, ooh, the future of the channel, because technically we do it together and I want to hear your opinions in the comments and all this kind of stuff uh, and it's us working together to grow this channel and this community. Well, I say this channel, but I'll talk about the other ones later on. <laughs> so first of all, I just want to thank you all for the support you give me as a full-time creator. I'm I'm in my dream job and I've been wanting to do this for so long. So I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for allowing me to do this, create content for you, create smiles that you can pass to others. And uh, it's a good time. And like I said, I would not change it for the world. And that's you guys here on YouTube and the guys over on Twitch. It's uh, it's a journey. It's for sure a journey. And we're only going up and up. And then I'm bringing you guys with me. And then in a year's time, if we reach another goal, you can say you was here from the beginning. So the first thing I want to talk about today is channel update. So if you didn't watch the satisfactory video that I released like two days ago now, uh, I talked about in there about the new channels. So I will, let's address that in this one in case you've not seen that one yet. So this channel you're watching this video on is the foundation. It's the pillar of what we have uh, established as a community. And it started off uh, and exploded through satisfactory. We went on to do some more uh, other factory games and other uh, automation and engineering games. And then went into a bit more variety and story and let's plays uh, and that's all been a learning like process uh, for this channel and oh boy that has been a journey 100% been a journey uh, obviously we've gained new followers we've lost followers uh, but that's the name of the game it happens and unfortunately we've just got to think ahead uh, and see uh, see what's next so i i have had a lot of people asking what's going on with the let's plays what you're doing with them well uh, I announced it the other day but we've started a brand new channel uh, which is basically more bits uh, and that's going to be a channel based on everything, story, let's play. So think of The Last of Us, think of Uncharted, think of any game that requires you can just sit down, binge, grab popcorn, grab a blanket, sit back and watch this idiot try and complete a game. So it's all based on variety. Um, it's going to be not as edited as what the videos are in this one uh, because it's you don't want to kind of do that with story games. Uh, it's all going to be new releases. Uh, it's going to be reactions to games that are coming out. Uh, my thoughts on games, uh, reviews of games, all that kind of stuff. This channel you're watching now is all based on factory, automation, city building, uh, simulation sort of games. So any everything that we built from the start is remaining on this channel. So anything that regards, it requires time to build an episode. As you know, Satisfactory is a time sync game. Uh, City Skylines is a time sync, sync game, and you better believe that we're going to be playing Skylines 2. Um, Foundry, um, there's a lot of games out there. We've got Tectonica coming up. Uh, I want to get more Factoria done. I want to get Dyson Sphere done. Um, all these sorts of games require time and patience because you need to, like, going from one side of the map in Satisfactory to another, if you was running, building a factory, it takes hours. And putting all that together could take quite a few well a week two weeks depends on time so all of them sort of game are going to stay on this channel where there'll be about two to three videos released a week we're on the variety channel the more bits channel they're going to be daily videos because i can sit down on a sunday i can just hit record on the camera hit record on my gameplay and sit here for like six hours and that's six videos of one hour content uh, ready to go out that week. So that's how easy it is to do that stuff. And also it allows me to enjoy uh, the games that I've missed, like playing on some of the PlayStation games, some of the games that are coming out, because I don't get time to usually do all of that because I'm usually focusing on trying to get the next satisfactory video out and uh, any other videos that are going to require time and Planet Crafter, that requires a lot of time because it's time synced game, right? And then the third channel, which is just basically a diary channel. So it's the Bits VODs channel, which is color coded purple. Uh, and that is because uh, I stream Monday, Wednesday and Friday over on Twitch at 10 a.m. Technically BST slash GMT time, depending on the time zone. Or I could have say UK time. And that channel is basically uh, my broadcast from up there pull down onto that channel so in case you can't catch a live stream uh that will get thrown onto there plus 
you can see me build the satisfactory episodes live on stream. Well, partly because I do some off stream as well. So that's a summary of the channel. You've got the bits channel, then you've got the more bits channel, and then you've got the bits vods channel. So main factory building games. If you want to know more, just look at the banners at the top. It will tell you simulation, city building, all that kind of stuff. The more bits channel focused on variety, story, all that kind of things. Bits vods channel, the Twitch vods literally pulled from Twitch, put on YouTube, and then you can skip ahead, all that kind of stuff. And it's literally just raw live stream. You won't hear any music on that because I've disabled the music from being um, sent over to YouTube because of copyright reasons and all that kind of stuff. So sometimes you'll just hear me singing along and there'll be no music and you'll just think of my spoon. And I can tell you now there's been funny clips of me doing that on the stream. Oh boy. Oh boy. And speaking of your spoon, I've literally just launched today as of this video released your spoon merch. Literally, it's the most requested merch that I've had <laughs> on the YouTube channel and then also on the Twitch channel. And it's just simple, clean merch that says straight across the, the, the chest, your spoon. Uh, there's caps, beanies, and a t-shirt. But also I have the other collection, which I've just added a new t-shirt, which is well, it's soft, it's breathable, and you would have seen me wearing it during the videos or live streams, or same with the hoodies and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and they are super comfortable. So if you're interested in that, head over there, because we've got a discount on, which is 20% off if you use uh, code YASPOON, Y-A-S-P-O-O-N. I'll put it at the bottom here so you can do it. And I'll put a link in the description as well. And once you purchase one of them, obviously I'll receive a notification and I, I will directly send you a video message uh, as soon as possible, uh, just thanking you for your purchase. And if you've got any custom messages you want me to say, put it in there and I'll send it to you. Next up is with the recent content that has been released and suddenly stopped. For example, the um, Star Wars games, the Hogwarts games, uh, all that kind of stuff. A lot of people have been asking what's happening with them. Uh, they will be going over onto the second channel, uh, which is what I talked about earlier. So links in the description and hopefully that answers your question. The next one is mods. Which mods do I use in Satisfactory? Well, the first one, Pack Utility. The reason I use Pack Utility, it helps me as a uh, Twitch streamer when people ask about tours. Uh, I can literally fly and I can show people what's going on. It saves me running around spending half an hour to an hour running around the factories, I can literally do fly around, do some cinematic shots, hence why in the satisfactory videos, you see them panning shots and some of the cinematic stuff, that's all done with Pack Utility. And as of season two, we are spawning in uh, power shards and hard drives because one, I've collected so many hard drives over the years. Uh, I know where they all are, the same location, it's just the same thing over and over again. So I literally spawn myself in. I still research them, but uh, I just put them into my inventory. Same with power shards. Uh, as you know, I like to build factories mega big, uh, and you can get unlimited power shards in the game if you just get a dog or pen. So for those that don't know, there's not a limited set of shards in the world. You can actually get infinite. It's just that I've made it quicker for myself to give you, well, to make the videos and help the live streams be a bit more, what, fluid? The next mod I use is Sky UI, S-K-Y-U-I. -U -I. Uh, and what that mod does, it allows me to control the time of day in Satisfactory. That's what that is. Basically what it does, it allows me to slow down time, speed up time, pause time. It allows me to turn fog off. It allows it, the, me to turn rain on and off. That's all it does. And the benefit of this is, well, to be honest, the best way I can show you. So way of my way of recording is I move from A to B, A to B, A to B. And what things you don't want to see is it going nighttime, daytime, light time, daytime, dusk, dawn. And it can be very jarring as a viewer to experience different light changes every time. So take this clip, for example. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another satisfactory video, where last time we worked on this highway right here, which then goes to our fuel station, which is making 69,000 megawatts. So you must be wondering what the next plan is for this episode. Well, which apparently is to fix these trains because none of them are moving. And the funny thing is, I'm doing this for this update and announcement video, and I didn't actually know these were broke. <laughs> So I've actually brought this in the live stream. God damn it. There's a little funny thing if you're watching this announcement video. I've accidentally broke my <laughs> my trains. 
again, apparently. So let's crack on with that and let's move on with today's video. The next mod I use is uh, inventory mod, 500 plus inventory mod. Uh, and this is, this this year, well, technically the end of last year was the first time I started using it. And what it does, it increases my inventory size from the standard amount to a lot larger. And the reason this is, is because I want to min max my live streams to make sure my satisfactory content gets pushed out a little faster. Because I worked out on the live streams, if with the size and scale I build, I'm going back and forward to my uh, my um, storage a lot more than I should be because I'm going through so much concrete, so much steel and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and with me going backward and forward, I'm kind of losing like an hour, maybe an, an hour and a half in the live streams just doing that. Uh, and make that three times a week. Well, it used to be five times a week. And that's about three to five hours I could be spending on making a factory, making a road, doing setting something up and pushing out these YouTube videos a little quicker. And that's basically why I use it. The next question I get asked a lot is, uh, how do I live stream or how do I start off on YouTube? And this is a whole big category by itself. There's so many answers and all this kind of stuff. But the simplest is just getting download OBS, log in to either Twitch or your streaming service, um, or I set up your recording settings uh, and hit go live or start recording. That is it. The only thing I recommend anybody to do first before your camera, before buying any of that stuff, you don't need expensive stuff. Uh, do that as you progress and put what you earn in the content creation back in to your stream. That's how my journey started. I used to start off with a really bad camera, really bad setup, all this kind of stuff. And just over the years, I've just put money back in from what I've earned and just upgraded to what I have today. But audio is the first thing you should technically work on. Uh, audio is, the, the you know, you could really have, you could have bad video quality on Twitch, but if you've got really, really bad audio, like peaking and all this kind of stuff, people won't listen to it for long. But what also you have to get out of your head is what people think of you. You just, you just got to straight over your head. People will call your names. People will say this. People will say that. What are you going to do? I don't give a plant pot. <laughs> At the end of the day, I don't care. You just got to not care what people think about you. Uh, and that's the way of life, really. Sticks and stones may break your bones, you know. Um, it happens. And the first thing you should do as well is if you see any form of negativity or anything like that, just remove them from your community. Uh, and that's how you build strong foundations. Uh, I've got an amazing community on my live streams. I've got an amazing community on my YouTube and any form of negativity. I remove the comment. I remove the, the person from my, um, my Twitch streams or my amazing mod team does uh, and we move on. That's why I like to create smiles for others because everyone uh, in life has an experience uh, or going through something uh, that is not in a positive mood. And hence why I like to create smiles for you guys, which I then want you to pass that to somebody else. And that's really what I need to talk about, really. So uh, hopefully uh, you liked this sort of like informational video. And um, we might do a, uh, another one in a couple of months from now with more of your questions or concerns or uh, ideas that we can use as a community to grow uh, our, our, our family we have here, you know? Um, so as always, Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and well, you, if you're more the if you're at this point in the video, you've done it. But I'm not going to say it again. Emojis for comments. You know that now. <laughs> um, but anyway, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.